In this video, we don't really need our Arduino. We don't need a laptop. We just need a little bit of space and a multimeter. And the reason for that is I am going to be demonstrating some various types of conductive materials. Some people like to call them smart materials, but the reality is there's not too much that's smart about copper tape. But you could use them in smart projects. Copper tape is adhesive back copper foil and it allows you to make soft connections between devices. So it's very popular in wearables and say a paper prototype or somewhere where you need to sneak in some very thin wires and it's conductive as are all of the things that I'm going to show you in this video. This is meant to inspire you and to think about how you can replace something like standard wires with other conductive materials. You don't always need to use wire. So let me show you a few of my favorites. Here's another interesting one for a wearable project. This is conductive Velcro and this has a metallic element to it. It feels very much like Velcro. The fuzzy side is a little bit fuzzier than I would think, but it works quite well. And if I have my multimeter out and just check for continuity, I can select right here. It'll make a beep when there's continuity. So if I were to take this Velcro and just go from here to here, it's beeping because it's conductive. Think about that for a wearable product. Here's some fabric. Yep, conductive. And there's all different kinds of weaves. Now, speaking of fabric and thread, here's thread. I don't know if I can get my probes on there good enough. There you go. Conductive. The two main varieties are stainless and silver. I really like the silver. I like the look of silver, but that being said, guess what? Silver tarnishes. You build a project or a wearable that has silver thread sewn in to replace the wires and eventually that silver is going to tarnish and it just doesn't work that well. So keep that in mind. I have a bunch of different examples here. I believe these are all stainless. I don't have any silver ones because I kind of avoid it. I don't like the tarnishing later, but you can get all different kinds of thicknesses. You can use this in a sewing machine and replace wires with thread. Now there's going to be different resistances and you'll have to take that into consideration when you're building your project. Here's a really cool one, bare conductive. And there's a few different kinds of paints. This one comes in an easy applicator. You can buy little jars. You can actually buy big tubs of this and it's conductive paint. So think about silk screening or paper products where you could add conductive paint to replace wires. This is one of my favorite ones. This is Z axis tape or conductive tape. And this is a double sided tape. You can peel off a little edge here just like a standard double-sided tape. But what's interesting about this one is it's only conductive when looking at it this way, vertically, and not horizontally. So if I were to, and I, I really can't do this as a demo, but if I were to go here to here, it wouldn't be conductive. But if I were to go from here to here, it would be conductive. So really neat for using Z-axis tape for maybe attaching LEDs to a surface. And instead of soldering or where soldering is a problem, you could use this. Again, it has a different resistance. So you have to take that into consideration. Here's another really interesting one. This is clear plastic, but it has an indium tin coating on it. And it also has a little bit of plastic coating on it right now, just to protect it. I'm not going to peel it off, but once I peel off this coating it is incredibly translucent, pretty much transparent and it's conductive. So I could, say cut a piece off here and scratch in the surface another line. If I have attach an LED to one side and battery to the other, I can replace those wires with transparent plastic. It's pretty cool, fairly expensive. Speaking of indium tin coatings, you can also get it on glass. You might be able to pick up on the camera that this has a coating on it. It has a little bit of a purpley blue hue to it. And this is conductive. If I put this down, and put it down the right way and see, conductive. I really like this. I haven't used it in a project, but I'm borderline desperate to figure out a project that would use indium tin coating on glass or plastic. Seems really cool. And the next thing I want to look at is this. It's called Velostat. I can measure its resistance 
with pressure. If you can see on here, I've got my two leads, top and bottom, and I put them together. There is some continuity there, measuring about 1K in resistance. If I squeeze it, the resistance goes down. So this could be used as a pressure sensitive plastic or film between two leads or as some kind of sensor. And it's not gonna be as accurate as another type of pressure sensor, but it's a very interesting type of plastic that you could use in your project. The last two things I wanna look at, here's one, this is pretty cool. It's a conductive rubber cord. If I put my meter right here and I connect it, you can see its resistance goes up and down based on how I stretch it. Five, and if I stretch it out, see, three, point three, jumping around a little bit. And I have this, which is just stainless steel thread. Now this one I should be able to go back to continuity testing. Not sure how you would use this. It actually looks like a ball of hair. Feels kind of strange, but I like it. It's kind of neat. Not sure what I would use it for, but I had to have it in my prototyping arsenal. So you don't always need wires. Sometimes you just need something that's conductive, and hopefully this was a good overview of some of the more interesting conductive materials out there.